The latest data shows a rise in domestic terrorism across our country. Our Prince George's County Bureau Chief Tracy Wilkins takes a closer look now at what's driving some of this disturbing trend. Within hours of the mass shooting in Buffalo that killed 10 black people. A shooter, a mass shooter. Details about the alleged killer, 18-year-old Peyton Gendron, surfaced. His 180-page racist manifesto and online post where he described wanting to murder dozens of black people. Hate crimes are on the rise. Hate groups have increased over 100% over the past 20 years. Dr. Rayshawn Ray, University of Maryland sociologist and senior fellow at the Brookings Institution says data shows that race-based domestic terrorism is on the rise. Every three out of four domestic terrorist murders are committed by right-wing extremists and overwhelmingly these are white nationalists and white supremacists. He says the replacement theory referred to in Gendron's writings and her chanted on the streets of Charlottesville in 2017 is breeding dangerous terrorists. This is the assumption that white people are going to be replaced economically, politically and culturally. In sociology, we call this group threat theory is when someone uh, perceives that another group of people poses a political, economic and cultural threat to the status quo. Ray says the cultivation of this thinking online and how these extremists find one another is not coincidental. These algorithms are created by people. See, since they're operated by machine learning, we assume that they're just robotic and computerized, but they were created by people. And oftentimes those inputs were not put into the system with diverse people sitting at the table. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump, who's representing the family of one of the victims, announced intentions to sue some of these online platforms. Ray says laws that hold domestic terrorists accountable and education are two important tools to combat this kind of violence. Progress is not simply continuing. It can stall and even reverse. And we are in that era right now. How long we stall is up to us. Tracy Wilkins, News 4. Now, House Democrats are moving quickly to vote on a domestic terrorism bill after the mass shooting at Buffalo. There's a plan now to send that Domestic Terrorism Prevention Act to the House floor this week. 